with Brian, and he is one of our subcontractors that helped us tackle all the cleanup within the boiler room. Uh, so Brian, any interesting discoveries that you found in this in this uh, this space? Really, really old cold boiler. It's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Um, you really go and look at it too. What does this look? Yeah. Do you want to take your mind? Take it right through? Yeah, we can go through there. So Brian, um, do you work on a lot of projects like this where yeah. people come into old boiler rooms yep. and have to do cleanup? Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the dirtier ones though, but I mean, they had just shoved everything right inside the door and then, you know, I mean, we had to unbury everything, so. But, Unfortunately, yeah. what happens with a lot of these boilers and in a lot of these big buildings is it becomes a complete dumping ground for debris and old trash, um, and then they seal up the space uh, and never use it again. Um, we actually discovered that it's a natural soundproof space in a perfect location for our uh, two soundproof music studios. So Brian, do you want to first talk about all of the, um, the, the kind of work that goes into having to actually put on these suits yep. and all the cleanup? Yeah, it's just like a white suit you got to put on and, and a headgear with a mask on you got to put on and we, gotta, we go in and do an enclosure and we, we do our cleanup and then when we come out, we gotta actually shower out. So you take the mask off and the suit off, and you take the mask off when you're in the shower, rinse it off, or whatever. You shower out, but um, use the asbestos, of course. So. Brian, walk us through yeah. what you found. You gotta be careful walking out here. That, that, that there is the old coal boiler that used to heat the building. That is so old, I couldn't even tell you how to run. <laughs> <laughs> And what was this big bin thing? That's, I think, that's, I think, from my understanding, that's where the coal went down. That crumbled it and then threw it into the boiler, which would then it burned or ignited in there, which would heat heated the steam, you know, created the steam and the pipes, which heats the building. Behind Brett here, um, we believe must have been the, the old coal chute or something like that. Coal chute. Yeah, because there's still a pile of coal there. Many projects um, that you've been on with these uh, old, boilers. old boilers, but you said, like you said, one of the most fun, right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yep. All the fun discoveries. Um, and Brian had a team of what, three, four people that four, kind of. Four guys with me. Four, four guys four, yeah. that kind of helped uh, clean this place up. Over 100 barrels came out of here. 100 barrels of debris yep. and. Yep, garbage, whatever they throw in here. Uh, nice big dumping ground. So, uh, like I said, future space uh, will be our our music studios. Um, so, thank you, Brian, yep. for the tour, and we appreciate all the work that you've done to yep. bring this place to life. No problem.